This worksheet we're going to be talking about tables and uh, whenever we're dealing with tables we need to figure out what's the rule for the table and uh, that's what the first question is on this. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a table right here it's talking about hours worked and amount earned. So we got to look at the table and the first question like I said is asking what is the rule for this table and I have work for four hours right here and um, earn $24 work for eight hours, earn $48, work for seven hours here, we're not sure how much, work for two hours here, earn 12, and work for six hours here, and we're not really sure how much, we got to figure out how much that is, okay? And uh, we can look at it, and I know four times six equals 24, eight times six equals 48, and two times six equals 12. So I know the rule for this uh, table would be times six. Okay. Question number two, what are the missing numbers? So if the rule is times six uh, on for seven, if you work seven hours, that's seven times six is 42. That's $42. Okay. And six times six is 36. That's $36. Okay. Uh, in the previous example about Alex and Andy's age, what does the rule add six mean in the problem? And that's basically just meaning that um, Alex, I think is Alex is six years older than Andy. That's also he's six years older. Okay, question number four. Marty uses a rule subtract nine for his table. If the first number in Marty's table is 11, what is the second number in that pair going to be? So, if the first number is 11, and maybe it's talking about Marty's age, we'll just say. And we're talking about his brother's age. Put a B right there, representing his brother's age. We got a table going across there. Okay. And the rule is subtract nine. We're going to assume that his brother's nine years younger than him. So that means his brother would be two years old. Eleven minus nine is two. Okay. Uh, down here in the independent practice, uh, we're going to go through a couple more of these so you get a little bit more uh, guided practice. Uh, I'm going to do the ones that are highlighted in green and uh, you all will work on the ones highlighted in yellow on your own. Okay, in this one, uh, talking about uh, this table right here, number six, is talking about money earned and money saved. Okay, and I have a earned $14 and saved seven, earned $18 and saved nine, earned $12, I have to figure out how much you saved there, Earn sixteen dollars. Figure out how much he saved there, and right here he earned eight dollars, and he saved four. Okay, I know it looks like he saves half his money, and half is dividing by two. So fourteen divided by two equals seven. Eighteen divided by two equals nine, and eight divided by two equals four. So it is divided by two. I'm going to write my rule down here at the bottom. The rule for this table is divide by two or in this case he saves half his money. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. Basically half of his money he saves. Okay, in problem number 8, it's talking about numbers of chairs and numbers of legs. We'll look at it. We got 3 and 12, 3 chairs, 12 legs, 2 chairs, 8 legs, 5 chairs, 20 legs, seven chairs, don't, don't know how many legs, and then we don't know how many chairs, but we know how many legs. So, most chairs have four legs. Let's try that. So, three times four is twelve. Two times four equals eight. Five times four equals twenty. So, let's go ahead and try to put in so 7 times 4 equals 28. And on this one right here, we know how many legs. So if we're going the opposite way, if we're going this way, try and go this way, you're just going to do the inverse operation. So instead of, uh, instead of um, multiplying by 4, we'll, div we'll uh, divide this by 4. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. So that's nine chairs, has 36 legs. 
So we'll double check it. 9 times 4 does equal 36. Okay, let's look at the next page. Okay, and problem number 10. The table shows the age of the velvet mesquite tree and this cactus plant at a garden. Okay, when the velvet mesquite tree was 48 years old, how, well, how old was the cactus? Okay, so we got a table here, and tables help us figure this information out. Okay, and it's pretty, this one helps quite a bit. Uh, when we're talking about ages of things, we know it's going to be, it's going to be an addition, uh, addition or subtraction type um, of, uh, of rule. So if the, the mesquite tree is one year old and the uh, cactus is 36 years old, the difference in their age is going to be minus 35. Minus 35. Or, I'm sorry, plus 35 plus 35, going from the velvet uh, mesquite tree to the cactus. So, plus 35. We'll work it out just to be sure since it's a little bit larger number. Maybe we can't work this out in our head. So that's 35 plus 15. 5 plus 5 is 10. And then we have 3 plus 2 is 5. 50. So that does equal 50 plus 35. We'll work that one out. 67 plus 35. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry my 1. That's 6 plus 3 plus 1 would be 10. 102 does work. So we're going to do plus 35 here to figure out how, how old the uh, cactus is. So 48 plus 35, 8 plus 5 is 13, and uh, 3 plus 4 plus 1 is 8. So that would be 83 years old right there. Okay, the next question, question number 11. Okay, Phil says that the cactus is about 100 years old, 100 years older than the velvet mesquite tree. Is the estimate uh, reasonable? Explain. And we already know that it's 35 years older, so it's not really close. So we can say no on that one. No, it is not. Okay, next problem we're going to work out is problem number 12. An art museum has 48 paintings in one room and 31 paintings in another room. What is a reasonable estimate for the total number of paintings in these two rooms? So. Since we're uh, since we got a word problem here, let's go ahead and box in. Okay, it says what is a reasonable estimate for the total number of paintings total? So we got total down here. Um, that tells us it's going to be larger. It's going to be a larger thing. Uh, I have 48 and I have 30, and they're both talking about paintings. That sounds like an addition problem. It's not going to be a multiplication problem. It'll be an addition problem. So I know since it says estimate, and that means they want us to round. 48 is going to round to 50, and 31 rounds to 30, and 50 plus 30 is 80. So that'd be about 80 paintings. I'm going to put equals P. So I'll, I'll make that a variable. So there's 80 paintings. So we want to get in the habit of labeling, labeling our answer. It, uh, it kind of helps us clue in and make sure we're doing the right steps to solve the problem. Let's go ahead and look at problem number 14. It says, use the table below. Okay. How many eggs can four ostriches, ostrich hens lay in one year? How many can five ostrich hens lay? And we have a table here. Okay, and I've got... One can lay 50 eggs, two can lay 100 eggs, three can lay 150 eggs. Okay, uh, and whenever we're doing something like this, uh, if our table tells us how many one will lay, that's going to kind of be a, like a kind of clue us in on what the rule is. And I think it's probably going to be times 50. So my rule is going to be times 50. I'll put it right here, times 50. And I know one 
times 50 equals 50, 2 times 50 equals 100, and 3 times 50 equals 150. So my rule is going to be times 50 on this one. 4 times 50 is 200. And 5 times 50 would be 250. Problem number 16. Okay, the table shows the number of baskets that uh, Betty needs for different numbers of apples. She wants to put an equal number of apples in each basket. How many baskets does Betty need for 56 apples? So we'll go ahead and look at this. Okay, for 28 apples, she needs four baskets. 56, we're trying to figure out that one, so we don't know how many baskets she's going to need for that. For seven apples, she needs one basket. For 21 apples, she needs three baskets. And for 14 apples, she needs two baskets. So I'm pretty sure I know what the rule is, because we can see right here on this one, she needs seven for one, uh, for one basket, seven apple, or she needs one basket for seven apples. So that's a divide by seven rule. A divide by seven, and we'll check it. 28 divided by 7 is 4, or 4 times 7 equals 28. Um, we'll go ahead and do this one. Um, 56 divided by 7 would be 8, because 8 times 7 is 56. We already know that 7 divided by 7 would be 1. 21 divided by 7 is 3, because 3 times 7 is 21. And 14 divided by 7 is 2, because 2 times 7 is 14. So, that tells us that she, uh, she's going to need eight baskets to do this.